enough to wear even when it's not raining and it's sun shining outside and I've worn this a lot as well um, and I like the fact that it's such a loud piece what's up cookies welcome back and if you're new here welcome to the chaos that is a cookie community we talk about all things fashion in and around it and sometimes i show glimpses of my life living in new york city as an entrepreneur because it's a struggle but it's a beautiful struggle anyway welcome to vlogmas um we are going to talk about the best purchases that i made in this year and when i say best purchases i mean the most used the most loved the most like bang for the buck type of situation and I have a couple different categories you know I got shoes because y'all know I'm a shoe girl I have some handbags I have a little bit of jewelry some um fragrance sales and some clothing so I'm gonna start off with my favorites the shoes because it's always going to be the situation now I have packed away two of my uh favorite summer shoes um but I wanted to talk about them real quick they're both from Saint Laurent um, so one that I purchased a little bit later in the summer was the Saint Laurent Platts platform sandal. It's like, to me, a grungy, very edgy type of look. All in all, I love Saint Laurent shoes. They're not the most comfortable shoes, I'll be really honest, but I do love them. I feel like they just are really classic. They never go out of style. Um, and I just love them. I felt like it gave me the lift that I needed. It can go chic, it could go punk, it could go rock. It, you know, it's so many different avenues I could take that particular platform. And it wasn't like overly tall, you know what I mean? Like it, it has a pretty high instep, but I just like the heaviness of this shoe. I feel like it's gonna last me a really long time. And it just reminds me of like, what women would have purchased in the 70s as far as like the the weight of the shoe, the quality of the shoe, and the aesthetic. It's simple, but very effective. And then the other Saint Laurent shoe that I actually, so I purchased a shoe from Saint Laurent that had rhinestones glued onto the strap that went across the toes. And I was really excited for this shoe. I felt like it was a, like the best ladylike elegant shoe that can go with a lot of, um, uh, it can go casual, but also I needed something that would go with uh, more formal occasions. And the rhinestones like peeled off. And I had only wore them maybe like three times for a photo shoot. So not even a full hours in it, not even a full hour in those shoes. And they were peeling. So I took them back to Saks and I swapped them out for the Jerry logo embellished um, satin trim sandal with the YSL um in rhinestone detail now these were like the rhinestones were embedded on a silver um material onto the shoe it wasn't glued on so it made me feel way more comfortable but i also felt like these were beautiful and something that i don't see going out of style for me personally i feel like it's a classic strappy sandal that i always tell my clients like you need a strappy black sandal you need a nude strappy sandal because you can wear it with tights you can wear it bare and it goes with so many different looks so you can't go wrong but i like that this one has the logo and i'm not really a logo person person but I felt like it was tasteful and child it just it was giving it was giving rock it was giving star it was giving classic and it was giving chic and I'm sure there's plenty of other shoes in my mental Rolodex that I've purchased over the summer that were like amazing like you know the Bottega Rocket Mules I wish I wore them more often they I do consider them a really great purchase I just didn't give them enough wear but I also feel like I don't have to worry about it going out of style anytime soon I wouldn't say it's in my top uh purchases only because I feel like I didn't wear them enough so I didn't do them justice and I feel like let me follow up next year and let y'all know or you'll see me wearing them more once the weather breaks a little bit because I can't even wear and that's the other thing I can't really wear tights with them I can only wear them barefoot because if I wear socks or tights they slide off my foot as I'm walking now getting into more of the fall winter shoes or boots i've been wearing the hell out of these kate nevada stretch boots with the snake print in the front i mean listen i'm crazy for a good snake print 
especially when it's like a lighter neutral tone i feel like it can go with so many different options i love the square toe i like the um the i feel like i have a good amount of room here in the front of the shoe where my my toes aren't pinched it has a really good toe box it's not super slim and i like the angle of this heel like while it goes inward it's not a crazy inward where it looks like it's about to break or crazy outward where it looks like it's about to break i don't like shoes like that I, for some reason the extreme the heels that go out extremely to the back it something about me i'm like they about to break even though i know they're designed not to it's just it's something about those shoes but these i've been wearing them to death and i literally just got them what in september october so already i feel like while i've only had them for fourth third and fourth quarter of this year i feel like i'm going to get so much wear out of these boots and i got them from farfetch um and I love them. I, I just, I simply, I freaking love them. This purchase, I, I got these for myself for my birthday. Another shoe that I've only really had for fourth quarter. Um, the Tabby Western boot from uh, Maison Margiela in the uh, light brown. Now, as quirky and crazy as these shoes are, I've worn them so much already. I feel like they go so well with like wide leg pants and like going over them. They look great with straight leg jeans. They look great with a maxi skirt. And it's a very interesting aesthetic. And I love a good tabby shoe. I have tabby flat boots. I have tabby um, heeled boots, the ankle boots. Um, and I do... I would like to have a pair of tabby loafers as well. I'm a person, I like a, I like my toes to have room in the front of the shoe. Like I'm here for a good old pointed toe heel and there's nothing wrong with it. But like I just prefer if I'm going to be wearing something so often, I want my toes to always be comfortable. And I can't last that long in pointed toe shoes. And I feel like the toe box or a, a larger toe box or a shoe that has like toe imprints where like my toes have a designated space to go into i i live for them i love them now now i know we talked about trends a few times this year and mary jane's being one of them and i've publicly said a few times i am not for a ballet flat i am not for a mary jane shoe but then Ghani came out with these another snake print situation in my wardrobe and literally like i so this this was actually really funny these shoes i was thinking about getting them in red and I saw them a few times online. I was like, "Those are there's something about them that are cool. I can I can see it. I can I can dig those." And then I remember when one of my clients came into town. We were shopping. We went into the Ghani shop, and I saw them on the display. And I looked at them. I like put them next to my body just to see how they would look against my skin tone, like the red pair, this color. And I'm like, "There's something about this shoe that I like." Oh. And I purchased them and I've worn them so much with socks, with stockings, barefoot. I didn't think I would wear them as much as I do. And I guess I like Mary Jane flats or whatever. Girl, I love these. Oh my God. They're so good. They're, they're, and they're comfortable. And I do think that they are made out of, um, what's it called? out of like recycled leather or they're made clean some way either way i thought that they were going to hurt or be tough to break in it didn't take long at all for me to break them in let me just put i can't believe that those are like one of my most worn shoes right now i i cannot so anyway so that's the shoe department those are my best purchases for shoes this year now you guys know i made a designated video for this and the experience purchasing it but i have to say this is one of my favorite purchases this year and i'm glad that i had the essay that i had at tiffany's this is the elsa peretti bone cuff in the size medium with um i mean um length and i think this is actually a medium 
size because they come size they come small medium large and i think this one is a medium on my um my hand here i could fit this small but it would have been a, a little bit too stiff and i wouldn't have been able to move around so the story behind this i really wanted the large one with the with the um with the cut in the center I really was looking forward to it. I went into the store. I had a, a wonderful essay by the name of Jose at the flagship on 57th and 5th. And he was like, girl, that large one, you're not going to wear it every day like you think you are. It's not that comfortable to wear. It is for special occasions. And you might as well get into this because this is just as effective. This is the original design that Elsa did. Um, Wonder Woman had it. Beyonce wore it in a concert series. So like he 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 showed it to me and I was like, oh, actually, I really love this one on me. And I'm glad that you told me to reconsider because I do wear this every day, if not every other day. Um, I love it. It's it's I love it. This was like a milestone piece for me. Um, I also felt like around this time I had done really well on being consistent on YouTube and just like doing my work consistently, staying creative. And it was my birthday month also. So I was like, you know, I want to treat myself to something that's a little bit pricey and something I would have forever and would be an heirloom piece. So definitely top, top, top one, like number one. I'm going to just say right now, this is my, my number one purchase for this year. It is. And then moving on. So this isn't a purchase. It was a gift from Creed. But this Carmina scent. I don't. I'm not going to say it's the best. So I like probably wear three on repeat. Three different scents on repeat. But this Carmina. When she came into my life. it She took over. She took over and she like shoved the other two to the side for like a good four weeks. And I was like, I would have never thought I would love a floral fragrance like this. But it's just something about her. She's, she's just delicioso. Oh my God. So I had to, I had to talk about this because I had to admit Carmina from Creed really, she, she's a stunner. Um, and then earlier this year, I was interested in buying these sunglasses, but I was like, dang, like, you know, I don't know if I want to spend that much on them. And I don't know if they're going to really fit my face because I couldn't find them in any stores as of yet. So I bought kind of like a dupish pair um, that gave the same feel from Amazon, which I also feel like is a great purchase for this year because I wear it still. I wear it often. But these Tom Ford Aviator shades with the so my cousin actually, my cousin from London has these with the purple lens and um, attachments here. And I tried them on when she came into town. I was like, oh yes, okay, I, I like this thing on the side. I can dig this. And I went ahead and purchased it. So I love these down. I think they're amazing. The only thing I would say, I have to be careful when I put them on my face. Because if I put them all the way into my face like I normally do with all my other sunglasses and glasses, I... It hits my cheek and then it makes an indent into my makeup. So I have to be really careful about how I place this on my face. Which at the end of the day, I still love them. I wear them so much. And the reason why I wear them so much is because I consider these to be an indoor frame. So I don't like wearing dark shades indoors. But sometimes I like to wear something on my face to just give a little bit of an allure. And I like that this is clear enough for you to see my eyes so we can make eye contact but like swaggy and cool to just be like yeah I'm gonna cut a little bit you know or I'm observing I'm taking in the room I'm reading it and I'm having a good time um and it just it makes me feel like I don't know it makes me feel like a little superstar or something I don't know I like these, these are my, I love these little shades they're so good and it's funny because like typically you know I will Typically, I jump the gun and just buy something immediately, especially if I thought it through. I'm like, I knew those would be a good fit for me, but for some reason, I was really hesitant on purchasing them. And I was just like, I, I really want to get those, but let me see if I like the aesthetic. Let me see if I like yellow lenses and looking through them because I, I don't have great sight. I have a minus eight, so my, my lenses are pretty thick even when I get them thin lensed, right? 
Um, and at nighttime, I feel like I have a little bit of like a stigmatism or something because when I'm looking at oncoming cars, the lights go, um, is it a stigmatism? I think it's something else. But either way, like I have a little bit of difficulty with certain like lights and things like that, looking at them or around them. And I'm, I'm weird about certain colors. I can't wear super red shades. Like I could wear pink. You know what I'm getting at, right? So it's just like I wanted to make sure that the yellow suited me overall and including it um, not agitating my, my side at all. So love those frames. Now let's get into handbags. Now the funny thing is it's two of the same, okay? And I bought these secondhand from Fashion File after I did an event with them in July. And I actually bought a third bag that I feel like I have not worn that much. And we'll talk about that. It's not a worse purchase, but it's something that I'm like, I should have wore this way more. What am I thinking? But these are bags that I wanted when I was coming out of college, but I couldn't afford. The Balenciaga um, Agnew. Yeah, the Agnew giant hardware bag in the like this light olive green with the silver um hardware it came with a strap it also comes with a mirror and my crazy ass went ahead and also bought the purple so i bought the purple first and then i bought the green when i saw it became available both of them were i think under five or three hundred dollars and when i tell you i've been wearing these down i even added my parental shula strap to this one just to give it a little bit more fun but I've always wanted these bags. I remember a friend of mine from college had it in red, and I was like, oh my God, I love that bag so much. I don't know if she had the ones with this, with these studs on it or the ones that are the City Arena ones with the smaller stud, but I loved it in red for her, and I've always, I love green anything, and I didn't think I would love this purple one as much as I do, but she's stunning. She goes with so many different things, and the green, I've been wearing that. I've been wearing this down so much that it looks even more aged. Like it's it's frizzing over here at the size. I need to like take it to a leather spa or something just to get spruced up. But I've worn this bag down and out. And it's only been like what five months? So I love it. And even though, like I wanted to expand my handbag collection this year. And I feel like I did with especially these two and then the Louis Vuitton um speedy in the green but i've worn these so much more than any other bag even my green bottega um padded bag that i wore to hell yet last year so like they took over they had so much space i did get them bag organizers off of amazon obviously like if things are still available i'm gonna link them all in the description box but i love 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 those bags so much and i do look forward to buying a little handbag that i still i still have the fendi the Fendi bag on my mind. I still want it. Um, but yeah, I, I am very happy that I came across those bags that I've always wanted. And yeah, that was a fulfillment for me. Um, so moving on to clothes, child. These are such simple things, but these Zara cargo pants, y'all. I cannot, like I, I have them in black. I have them in this one color and the two of them I wear so much. They go with everything. They're the perfect cargo. They're from the men's section of Zara and I've worn them to death with boots, with sneakers, platform sneakers, platform loafers, all the th anything you could think of. If And if I'm wearing a shoe that's a bit too low, I wear a belt and I hike the pants all the way up to, my, <laughs> to the center of my waist and I just make them a bit shorter just pulling them up my 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 body that's all but i live in those cargos sometimes i'm like i want to wear them but i already wore them twice this week like i can't like i gotta stop the madness so those were as inexpensive as they are very good purchase okay also since we're into clothes get into this cost sweater with the fish and eye hook here closure. Oh my God, I love this. So I went to the opening the other night, the one that they have in Williamsburg, and I picked this up. They also have it in black, but I felt like this over time just would age better. And I also have my mango um, wide leg pants on. That's what I'm wearing today. I'll tag it all below. Anyway, moving on. Now this is more of like a summer piece, 
But when I wore this to a, an event that I hosted, I felt so like powerful and boss and just confident, okay? So this Jacquemus uh, blazer with the bead on the shoulder and this string. <sighs> Honestly, and I wore it that night and the girls were like, send me the link right now. And it just like, listen, between the speedy bags, because this was the night that I hosted fashion, the Fashion File Shopping, sun, shopping and Sunsets event. And between the girls going nuts over the speedy bags after I pulled one out and this blazer, like it was just amazing. And I feel like it looks good on so many people that the people I've seen bought it after that, they looked amazing in it. And it just, it just gives something, it gives something. And you might need a little boob tape right here or whatever, but it's just so different. It's so funky. And you guys know, I love blazers so anytime I come across something that has a little bit of oomph to it a little a little outside of the classic silhouette of a blazer you know you know I'm a rocket and that leads me to my next blazer purchase because <laughs> I have a few because I've worn them so much and I felt so amazing them they were and they made me feel so good my first oop Excuse me, she wants to be worn right now. That's what that's telling me. My first Christopher John Rogers um, piece. So I've, I've had the collaboration pieces for him and Target, but I've never actually owned a Christopher John Rogers um, design straight from his, like, you know, atelier, his designs. But this, so this is like the, the cow neck blazer. They make us still but now the the lapel is a little bit closer it's a lot more like a normal blazer but this one it opens up pretty wide at the mouth and these freaking rainbow buttons are so beautiful they also have them on the sleeve on the cuff there and it's just an amazing piece the structure the detail the the tailoring of this piece I wear a size 6 in this one so I do feel like it runs a little bit small this brand but I'm not too sure I mean it's my first and only piece um for now because I do want more but yes I just feel like I wore this to the museum visit with Epilogic and I I felt so good in this I swear like it is a prized possession in my wardrobe I love this blazer um and I get I get why he is expensive as he is the detail is there honey no question about it now moving on to jackets you know, I actually thought I bought this last year because I've worn it so much. I'm like, I've had to have it longer than a year. This ain't 2023 purchase. I bought this February 25th, 2023 from Mango. You should have guessed it. You should have guessed it. Y'all know I was going to talk about this. This, this here leather jacket is one of my favorite favorite jackets in my wardrobe i wear this so much i wear it with big ass hoodies it's a heavy jacket it keeps me so warm it's phenomenal it's phenomenal and it was sold out for a while they restock it mango knows that this this jacket here ain't no joke they've restocked this so many times because the people the people know that i love it it's like it's like some of my granddaddy who used to ride a, a Harley Davidson up and down Delaware on 93. Oh, is it 95 on 95 Highway? And this is what he wore with his friends in the biker gang. And their biker gang was called the, um, the Pebbles. Fruity and Pebbles. That's what their biker gang was called. And this is what they wore. And I love this. I love this. I love this. I'm so happy I got this. It's my favorite leather jacket ever. Sorry to the ones in the closet if you heard me. Yes, even the, it takes over the rag and bone one. And I've had that rag and bone one for a long time. And it's beautiful on the inside. Even the custom made leather jacket that I had, this one beats it. I live in that shit. I really do. 
actually let's skip let's skip two coats i'll get to it i want to get to this one because it's such like um a small per so no this wasn't a small purchase because for what it is and i paid 200 dollars for them but i wear this all the time okay so much i have two pairs this one is the oldest pair because the newest pair i put in the wash but i recently re rebought this totem leggings with the split zip detail on the side of the bottom i wear these leggings so much they're beautiful and thick they wash well they wear well over time i think i've had these for about <clears throat> i think i had these leggings for about two years and now they're starting to show just a little bit where the elastin is coming out at the seam and that's like literally in the crotch it's not really visible unless like you're in if you're in there if you're in the cookie then you see it but like i still wear this the only reason why i bought another pair is obviously this one was aging but i actually lost weight so this one's a size medium and they fit pretty tight but i i, I had to purchase an extra small so um i bought those a couple weeks ago i think the same day i picked up my ghani shoes i walked across the street and walked into totem and i bought the extra small but wear these down <clears throat> i do feel like they're great for winter they're great for summer as well like while they're a thick pair of leggings i feel like in the summertime i don't sweat in them they're like a dry fit type of material they're just great they're just great great staple and if you need a legging and something that you feel confident, something that's not too sheer, that shows your, your panties or your bare ass, then that would be a great pair um, to invest in and have for a pretty long time. Now, moving on with more jackets. This Dries Van Noten. What's in the pocket, honey? Something in the pocket. <laughs> my Skippity Pat Pat Taser. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wore her the other day. So this is Juice Van Noten raincoat with the quilted detail inside. This I do feel like this jacket is heavy. It does have a little bit of filling inside of the quilting. Um, I love this coat. It's she's just fantastic and chic. I do have the boots that actually match this print because <laughs> they did a, um in within this collection they did a turtleneck dress. They did um, a turtleneck. In this print and boots and i was like okay well i like i like this print a lot i'm gonna buy it in the color as well as well as having them in the boots my camera shut off real quick but one of my most worn pieces because it's it's a raincoat it's a raincoat essentially but it's fabulous enough to wear even when it's not raining and it's sun shining outside and i've worn this a lot as well um and i like the fact that it's such a loud piece that um I keep it simple underneath obviously those leggings i just showed you i wear those underneath those underneath this but i don't go too crazy when it comes to styling with this one um because it's a statement on its own i feel like it's always good to have a statement coat a statement shoe a statement bag and everything underneath it can be simple like a white t-shirt and blue jeans classic blue jeans and you'll look fantastic so coat, shoe, bag, you have those staples and that's it. Now for the piece of resistance, this is actually kind of funny because this is a purchase that I made, but it's also an item that I sell. And it is the In The Ada Weight, the coat, the hourglass shape coat with the asymmetrical detail on the back. It's a super long coat. It's super, it's nice and heavy. So I've actually been wearing this recently, more recently, with like a thick sweater or a hoodie underneath it. I feel like they do cut a little bit big, the um, size run on these. I have them in small, medium, and large. But it's just, it's the strong shoulder for me. It's the strong shoulder. It's the cinched weights. And I've said this in another video where I talked about the whole collection drop a couple weeks ago while i don't design these pieces i wholesale and resell these pieces this is something that if i had the when i had the capital to do my own designs for this brand 
these are the types of pieces that I would have classic pieces with an edge and twist to them this is one of my favorite things that I've sold on my brand thus far and the brand is over a year old now almost two <clears throat> This this is my favorite. I'm so proud that I was able to find something that I really believe in. I was like, you know, I just would love to have like a blazer coat that just it, it's timeless and it's special and it's it has a heavy weight. And when I came across it at market, I was like, oh my god, no freaking way, no freaking way, this coat's fit like this. Like this is stunning. It's stunning. So I will redesign and remake it when the con when the time comes or whatever. But that is one of my favorite wholesale purchases and regular purchases of 2023 and yeah that that is it and then obviously like there's other things like my vanity my vanity i just got from amazon i've been loving and sitting at it so much um and yeah that's i feel like these pieces they wear well with me i've worn them so much they go with so many different things in my wardrobe. I felt like when I purchased these items, like I really thought hard and long about how they were going to interchange with other things that I have. Um, I've been wearing them so much. And anytime I do wear them, I get compliments and just people that are super interested. And not, I don't, I'm, it's not that I'm looking for compliments, but I love to have conversations about fashion pieces. And I feel like if I have a conversation starter with something that I'm wearing, it's expressive of who I am and it brings excitement to other people. And I feel like there's just community that builds around it. So that's why these pieces are my best purchases of this year and i'm proud of them i have so many other things that i feel are great purchases but these are the ones that came to mind immediately when i thought about this particular topic of video that i wanted to like run and share with you guys so i hope y'all enjoyed this video there will be a worst purchase or at least used purchases of 2023 coming up uh this week or next week i don't know because child I'm, it's d day by day on vlogmas season um day by day and uh that that's that's what it is <laughs> and don't forget to comment below like and subscribe and also tell me what are some of your favorite purchases from this year because y'all know i'm nosy as hell i want to know what y'all be buying all the time okay like i know i'm on here creating and making the video but like what y'all be buying can y'all make a little video and send it to me? I want to see. I'm nosy. I want to be all up in y'all wardrobes. <laughs> okay? Because I'm sharing. Share with me too. I want to see. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye, cookies. Yeah.